gallons cost, man? More than you could afford, pal. Mini truck. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Terry Thornberry Performance. You guys just seen us on the road, ripping it around, giving you guys a wicked cool intro. I do say so myself. Taking it she back to ripping. the Fast and the Furious days, baby. Oh yeah, <laughs> taking it back to the early days, baby. That's, That's right. right. So, you've already, you guys have already seen the build process on Poison Ivy. Now it's time to show you the final renderation of what me and Terry have been working in the garage on this old girl. And give you a full build breakdown on what we actually did to this beautiful poison eye. So we've already shown you it pops the bed. Now let's go finally show you. Let's go pop this hood, baby. You guys already know the power plant we went with, the beautiful K24DE. But this time, we named the engine bay the chrome bill before the foam bill. That's right. You've seen us build the motor up. You guys seen us remove the motor out. And you guys seen us now get the engine bay ready for paint and then finally install the paint and get it to now where she looks. We've actually went ahead and installed the power steering. We've showed you guys on the last video that we were gonna be showing you the intake and the radiator. Bam, we got them all figured out so you guys can tell she's running and driving. We went ahead and did our TTP flavor on cleaning up as much as we can in the 720 engine bay, deleting all the emissions, any unnecessary lines that aren't required in this swap, and making sure that you guys really pay attention to the motor and now walking ahead and complimenting the rest of the car. So we went with a 1993 dual cam out of a 240SX out of an S13. So it's the OBD1 model. Along with that, we kept the OEM stock 240SX transmission to hold the power and torque that this motor puts out. Because obviously the Z24i 5 speed cannot withstand the torque and the power that this puts down. Also went ahead and put a little short shifter on the trans too. Add a little bit of touches on the motor. As you can see the beautiful 4 to 1 Megan headers. Went ahead and did a full custom exhaust and finishing off with a nice long side pipe. Don't worry, there's still some more final things added. But for right now, went ahead and made sure that she sounded good on the side instead of just coming out the rear end where it'll be dancing. That's gonna kind of conclude the rest of the engine bay. You guys have already seen the build process. You guys have already seen how much we've cleaned up and what it is. We're gonna show you the rest of the cars you guys have already seen, but show you the final clip because once she leaves here, she'll be adding on to more flavor. We've already shown you the seat, but that's not the final seat. It's gotta get upholstered. Reupholstered by Marlin. Yep. He's gonna clean up the all in the, all of the interior, make sure it looks just as good as the engine bay and the rest of the truck. Get it all finalized. So let's close this hood. Let's maybe go for a drive because we definitely got a lot of things to do. But right now, we're gonna show you the rest of this car and how she finally looks in the sun. Sit next to those brothers and sisters, baby. That's right.
another beautiful day in paradise, baby. Man. just seen it me Dude. coming back dropping a gear dissing a pier explaining to you guys how much and better of a drivability this whole setup and this truck feels oh i'm glad you got that drive piece i didn't get that drive <laughs> at, at all so we got terry ripping around the drive i'm glad you guys were able to see now basically the final form of what the motor swap is basically it kind of putting around to now being able to drive and go on the road reliably but it's actually funny you even saying that terry because we've already actually taken a test drive before you guys have even seen the test drive that's right we've actually been playing around with all the mini trucks down in la personally the new minis group so thank you to patty and marlon part of the mini truck era magazine Big shout out to them yes. and their whole crew and their whole team exactly so the list is too long for us to name but you guys know who you are and we deeply appreciate you uh, for us tagging along but now moving on we had to make sure that the car was ready for them to go drive around we already know the kind of style they do so terry was um, fortunate enough to be driving marlon's car so terry was marlon for the day i was captain yeah he was captain he was boss so he was managing the ship making sure we was able to drive we actually did a photo shoot in la with the la riverbed so shout out to la reflections he was actually Bam. a photographer for the river shoot then after that we went to a really cool classic car show a v-dub mini truck where it honestly kind of hit Terry and I just a little bit on Eat the and beat. Yep, kind of hit us a little bit on the harder side. So if you guys know, you know. That was really cool. And then V dubs and the mini trucks. And then finally, last but not least, to finish it off to put the sprinkle on the icing on the cake. We were able to cruise down Whitty Boulevard. Hit those switches, yep. bring it back the little kid vibes. Oh, man, wa man. Watch, we were kids watching them, oh. and now we're able to obviously see it and experience it in our trucks instead of just kind of going along. So. It was really cool for us. We had an absolute blast and it kind of makes us realize why these mini trucks are still around and why they're so kind of secret because if you don't know, you honestly don't know. And it really shows Jack and I why we really work so hard on these chassis. Customizing, doing all these random little stuff that should be like, why that doesn't do anything? Because honestly, when you go see that style and they, man, they got beds that are going every which direction spinning. Helicopters. All custom oh, stuff man. that you would never see or realize but when seeing it from somebody else supporting me. So shout out to all the mini truck guys, the low riders, all that stuff that makes it seem really cool from the 80s and 
90s and you're still keeping it around because God knows me and Tara are trying our best to do with the mini trucks. But don't worry, mini trucks are not going far at all because we still have plenty more to be worked on and a lot more we swaps have, to be done. We have all the numbers, 720, 620, 620 521. 521. Oh. So guess on the comments on what motors are all going in because they're all different. None of them are OEM. But time to conclude this, I'm done talking. You guys have already seen the conclusion of this video. So if you guys are liking 720 and the mini truck content, please stay tuned for more because we got plenty more. But until then, oh, peace. and the Arizona 4x4 one too. The cannot Path forget about here. that. I almost did. Yeah. yeah. But you can't forget about that. So stay tuned for the next episodes. And if we don't see you here at the shop, we'll see you here at the, sh uh, at the meets yep. or at the track. There so it is, baby. Peace Woo! out. Woo! Yeah!